In this video, I'm going to show you the Alpha Blend node in more detail. I've already prepared my scene with uh, two terrains, a slope and a uh, Perlin noise, plus a mask. So I right click and then in Create Node, I'm going to look for the Alpha Blend and link it to both terrains and to the mask. This is the sort of result we get. Uh, the principle of the Alpha Blend is as follows. Where there are white areas, the height of the first terrain is used. So here the slope fills a space at uh, 40 meters. In the black areas, the height of the second terrain is used. So here it's the Perlin noise. And between the two in the grey areas, the Alpha Blend will simply mix both the slope and the Perlin noise terrains. Now, I double click on the disc to open its properties and start playing with the radius and the internal radius. The advantage of Instant Terror is that you can see the changes in real time. So, after showing you this Alpha Blend node in a pretty basic example, here it is in a little more complex project. Here I've mixed a complete composition with an Alpha Blend and used a painted mask to give the terrain even more variation. I've also added a smooth node that I can adjust in real time. The Perlin noise and the composition I'm mixing with the Alpha Blend have drastically different heights, which is what allows me to get all these variations with a simple smooth node. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you soon for the next tutorial.